happy to see you. You like the fight game, Phelps? I make a battle. Anybody who gets in my way, you know me by now, we man. It's strictly a mugs game. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. <laughs> Hold on a second, what's happening with this guy's complexion here? <laughs> Wait, put your guard up, mate, what are you doing? Mate, you can't lose the English guy, especially one that seems to be made up of about seven polygons. That son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find oh, out this is a on. butch for Pulp Fiction moment. God damn you, Albert, you get out here right now! Step back! LAPD! What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door! And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Mm. Victorious? We had an arrangement. WE HAD A GODDAMN ARRANGEMENT! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside! I mean, did you not expect he out the him window. to have I'll jumped out the window? Out on him. Why would we do <laughs> what that? Did you he think was gonna happen? Square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on so this So are fight. we here because you lost money, or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. Which is Hammond's locker? Mm -hmm. Over by the pin board, second from the end. Right. That's the Hammond. Probably bet all the money on himself, right? There's a phone number we can run by R and I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. Get the get the money in to take the fall. Put all that money on you winning the fight, and then batter the guy. Collect astronomical amount more than what you would have. You know what I'm saying? Is that really it? Yeah, this man's face. He's a very disappointed chap. It looks like he's just been declined churros. Didn't he take a shite in the shower before he left, did he? Listen, I, I, I'm just saying that might have been my first move. <laughs> Gonna fucking make you clean this up. <laughs> right, another glove. Wow. Shocking. Shake it a bit. No, maybe I thought maybe something might have been in there. A note for the trainer telling him to go fuck himself. Let's have a swatch at the paper. Right, oh, this guy again. I'm sorry mate, but it is far too early into the video for us to just go on a mad five minute detour to look at this creepy drug guy. See, alienist Fontaine, working selflessly to help the infirm, traumatised veterans flock to participate in care programme. Oh, this guy's gotta be taking advantage of bloody shell shock to PTSD World War II vets, that's not cool, I don't wanna see that shit. How about you mate? You wanna be traumatised? You better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me. Are you saying, pal? Are you saying? Roy, Speak up a bit louder. There's a guy next Mickey. block that they fucking hear you. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Oh, you don't know old Phelps, eh, boy? He's the Greyhound. He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps? Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh met his brother-in-law. Who the fuck was that pick? I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. I mean, he was shook. Alright mate, you got any, any hot dogs uh, or anything left over? No, a hungry Phelps is not a happy Phelps, you know what I'm saying? Got a wee message for a, for a boys downtown. Putting you through now. Hey, cheers doll. Alright. How can I help, detective? I need a wee address. 
uh, for AL3455, Hen, right? The address for the phone number is the Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Cheers, doll. You know the place? Flop house. Quarter a night, no questions asked. You chummy me those two dicks back here. Do I know the hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Reprimand me, I'll reprimand your jaw. Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. Mate, you diss my duds again, I'll fucking slap you. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very sharp suits. It's all right with you, mate. I'll stick to my Moz tailoring, all right? Shut the fuck up. She shows a good suit. She does old fucking Helen. Hotel El Mar. 960. Can somebody shut the fuck up with that fucking racket, man? Yeah. Do you know who's blaring that fucking trumpet, mate? Did they just drive off? Got the papers, eh? Why are you so shook, pal? I just want a, I just want a mystic tales. What the fuck is that? Cheap rates, hot water, whoa, living a big time. You're Here, mate, you can you put a kettle on, can you? Fuck. What a uptown joint this is. Soap, you know. Mate, I'll fucking feed you that soap. All right, we're looking for Big Albert Hammond, right? No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Ah. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. Fair, fair enough, mate. I get it. I get it. He just knows he's running a dodgy fucking establishment, but he's just fine with it. He's like, yo, mate, I don't do the crimes. I just fucking take the money. That's fine. Right, okay, Elmar. Let's have a look then. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. Marilyn Monroe. Brilliant. <laughs> Humphrey Bogart. Yep, big Winston Churchill. Aye, that'll be who we're after, won't it? Winston Churchill. Um, I, I accidentally hit Clark Gable, Englishman man. He's fucking years old. Stick with too far. Sure, I know, the kids will be getting these references. Doug, even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. Wait, what did he say there? What did he say? The old bullfrog, even at the flop house, Adley can't get out of his shadow. Wow, reference there, Roy. Everyone's rolling about the floor. They're like, wow, you got him there. Old Clement will be raging. Right, 207. You know that? Who the fuck said that? Who the fuck are they just saying shit like that for? Can I for a... Hold on. Can I... I used to be indecisive. Now I'm not so sure. Right, Doors well, apparently we're not knocking. Didn't even try. Looks like he's had a broad up here. Western Union. Elvira he Hammond. Must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. I'm soon. Your boy done good, my old fucking China. Albert. Fucking Albert. Or shall I on taking a fucking shit? Oh, yes. Does Albert have somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his choir. Maybe fight. it's you, Cole. Get wired in, my son. They're not coming back for them. I take that home with a missus. A half eaten box of fucking chocolates. I'm sure she'll be ecstatic. I'll just say that I couldn't resist in the car. Fucking, where is it, man? Fuck. I guess 12 p.m. has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. 12 p.m. Right, we'll see, I guess, what movie it was for some reason is like a clue. Insta Heat, what? Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. Parnell Soup Company, I know, I'm making a wee, wee reference like that. 12 cents a fucking tin of soup. It's a far cry from today's prices, unfortunately. Candy Edwards. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who's Candy? Do we know Candy? Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. All right, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Nah, mate, you sound like you knew who that was. Why do you know who that is, Cole? What have you been up to, my son? You've been, you've been doing some shit. Right, hold on, any uh, cigars for old uh, Winston Churchill that was in this room? No, no, mate, you this guy was named Winston. After all, this man's on a snout. Oh, what? Oh, what's that? If he has a real love interest. What is that? Some of these gum shield, did it? Aye. Probably not. It's his gum shield, mate. This just confirms it's the guy who we're after, and apparently that's irrelevant. <laughs> like, 
you know? There's nothing here that says he was here other than the gun shield. The only person we've been able to discern is definitely here so far was the, the woman. Ah, so this like is a Albert surprise. Doing some homework. 11 grand would be a nice little nest egg. That's almost 12, mate. Right, are we done here, are we? All right. Who are these people that just hang out in the hallway? Closer. Why are you not smoking your house, mate? Why are you going to stand out in the fucking Done. close like that? You're a couple of I don't know what the word is for, the, uh, for Americans for this bit, but it's called the close here. A lot goes hey. on in the close. Hammond is over the hill. He's a punching bag for the up-and-comers. She knows goddamn place. I think he knows. I think he worked out the place isn't L.A. He's punchy. His brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill? Give me a break. Churchill is a fighter, Roy. Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think of. No, it sounds like he did. It sounds exactly so like what he did. In the Marines. We all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a right fall was right a thousand. Ah! Oh. Hey, mate, you cut me off, you dick! Alive Motel, 9.27 p.m. Broadcasting company salutes our... We need to know which room is Candy's. Well, right, hey, whoa, you she disappeared. Oh, no, no, she is. No, no. LAPD, man. <laughs> We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment 7. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy. Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type. Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. This Candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen callers. Give it up, Sounds bitch. like we're missing all he's the fun. Get in there, Phelps. You know where he's hiding. Now tell me where he is. Fuck <laughs> you! How's it going, mate? Oh, like well, hitting fuck. women. He's ready. Ow. This isn't gonna end well for you. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not taking any shite this time, right? You just get battered, you fuck. Holy <laughs> shit, man! <laughs> Absolutely battered the shit in that guy. <laughs> How cold, but breathing. Give her a. She's leaving town. No shit, she's leaving town. She thinks she was going to hang about to be found by these fucking dicks. I mean, that's exactly what happened, but you know, <laughs> Ohio, one Single way. Ticket. One way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. Well, imagine that might be where the guy is, though, to meet meet her, and then they obviously go to New York. Scania yeah, sales yeah. from New York. Right, what do you got in these pockets? Got a wee ID for me. Oh. Nasty weapon. Is it? Oh, the shame if someone them. lost this. real man uses his fists or right a gun. In his, right in his goddamn windpipe. Don't put it back on him. Give him his blade back, you know what I mean? Go <laughs> get up and try and use that. Wow. Carlo here seems that Low res writing. <laughs> what are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Right, well, okay, but they try to discern who was in on it or. Hmm. Oh, they loaded that in there as I put it away. That was weird. Is that it? Is it? Hey, give him a fucking kick in the ribs. Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. All right. We're trying to find Albert Hammond, right? And we have a reason to believe he's going to get done in. So do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. What a shite, Hen. What a shite. You're in his hotel room and you came here after the fight. So what are you talking about? You can't prove that I was in the room. Eh, uh, I a fucking can. Right, uh, it doesn't say anything about the cigarette that was in the room, which absolutely confirms that she was there. But the coupon does have her writing on it, but I, that could easily have been taken there, but I don't know. Seems to be the only thing here that makes any sense. How do you think we actually found you by sheer fucking magic? Look, Albert was supposed to take a fall. We were all supposed to make a little money out of it. But Albert got too goddamn stubborn. Said his pride was all he had left. So I told him, shove it. Let's see his pride keep him warm at night. So you walked out before the fight? Yes, I did. What's the problem? I didn't take anything. Do the names Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? 
Could be, could be, really? They're the bookies, aren't they? Ah! How the hell would I know? I was in his locker. Western Union Telegram, your boy done good. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether or not he just hit doubt. I think I'm just going to hit doubt. Give no! up these men, Miss Edwards, and we'll think about letting these charges Shit. against you slide. What? Charges against me? All I did was try and look out for Albert. Now he skips out and I have to take beatings from him as well? I didn't think any of those were concrete so that she would know about it for sure, but I don't know. You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. You're talking shite. Albert won his big fight, and you know where he's gone, didn't you? Do all you cops run off of the mouth? Prove I know where he is. I mean, that tells me, oh, uh, your boy done good, home soon. You would know that he's going home. But also, you got a bus ticket to Ohio. Sure, I don't know if you live in Ohio, but I doubt it. And also, you got a goddamn fucking passenger laner ticket. I'm gonna say he's in Ohio. I don't know ah, where he is, what? and if I did, That's I wouldn't tell right you. That's what What are you talking about? I know you've gone fucking well, get out of your way, Candy. Oh. We know you're a busy lady. Like I said, I've done nothing wrong. The LAPD expects a little more cooperation. You'd better watch your back, sister. Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station. I smell a payoff. I say stake her out. See where she goes. Ah, so it's all it did by failing that there really was it. Leads to another layer of uh, the mission, I guess. Here, do you fucking light one off, you smelly bastard? Oh. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. I'll be doing this on foot. Oh. All right. Real happy this is when you marry a girlfriend. Maniac! What? <laughs> Why did it spawn me out in the middle of the street like that? I thought there was stairs facing the other way. Remain hidden in plain sight by going incognito. Where? I'm just gonna trust that she's not gonna get in this car, specifically. Okay. Uh, don't mind me, guys. <laughs> and so Cole followed Candy through the streets of Los Angeles in what can only be described as an incredibly boring waste of time. Ah, finally, we have arrived. Oh, she saw you. She saw you, man. We did all of that, and then she saw you. Bookmakers? Yes. Surprise, surprise. Why did I get in the car to get out That's of the car the again? The newspapers. That was just so it synced up, wasn't it? I should have been able to just drive here. But no. I had to do that stupid bullshit <laughs> for five minutes because I fucked up on the questions. A blonde woman just came in here. She went out the back way. Said she was being watched. How much did she collect? $3,600. She cleaned me out. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door. Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad. What, in about 10 seconds, she did all of that? Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? We're doing the thing. Old Pencil thing. From the Marines. <laughs> well, they're the only ones that worked out how to do this. Examiner drop. Drugstore, 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood. Do we really need to do the Hollywood? Do we need to do the Hollywood? He lives here. He knows, no. We know where she's headed, let's get moving. 
Should we take this? We should probably take that with us, but no, okay, never mind. Uh, by the way, is bookies not illegal in California? Like, should we not be doing something about that? Car 11 K 11 King, further to your request, oh. Bunko Fraud has three known bookmakers operating out of storefronts in the Hollywood area. Thrifty Liquor, 6106 Santa Monica, The Examiner Drugstore, and a Max Spirits at 1658 North Cherokee. KGPL, please. Hammond backed himself to win. And no Candy shit. Candy is picking up the winnings. Smart play. The question is, is Candy collecting on Albert's behalf, or is she cheating him too? Bookmaker's office, 5.09 p.m. Who are those two? They look shifty. I mean, they were heading out of a bookie. Detectives <laughs> Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. Whoa. I'm just about to close up. She oh, took yeah. me to the cleaners. Back 4, in Four thousand clams and change. <laughs> How long ago did you leave? <laughs> Maybe five minutes. Call the cab. I'm trying to Ask squeeze out a fat I one right there now. There was a guard over there by the phone. Over there. Fuck, man, it's smoky in here. Jesus Christ. Over there, by the phone, day. Eh? That actually hurts my voice and I've been doing that for like 10 Yellow seconds. Cab. We need to get after her. Fast. That man has to go for a whole lifetime of doing that. <laughs> yeah. This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood. Yes, sir. Send one round from the pool. Do you have the number of that cab? Number 179. Thanks. Why did it sound like I was talking We're to a fucking around. robot? Do you have any idea who a Ray is, mate? Sugar Ray. Not now, Mervyn. Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor at the best of times. Ray runs a shop up on North Cherokee Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. Roy always like walks in and goes, don't worry, mate. Cole's a good guy. You can tell him. And then they always just tell me. Instantly. I don't trust it, Roy, mate. I don't trust it. And by that, I mean I don't trust you. Broad's planning on cleaning out every bookmaker in town. Hammond needed to make sure he was getting a bigger payday than if he'd taken the flock. Never trust the limeys, especially where a fight's concerned. I know what you the mean, mate. I know what you mean. Police entry in a citizen report suspicious activity on a trolley car on town. They have a oh, trolley car, no. We got a runaway trolley car. Oh, do the bookies can wait. They can get cleaned out for all I care. It's got to go stop this. This tram from running over a whole family or whatever the fuck. Police entry in a citizen report suspicious activity on a trolley car on town. LAPD, ma'am. Are you all right? That low life. Eh? That filthy low life. Hey, mate, that's no way to talk about Roy. He's right there. I was standing ready to get off and I heard a click. His camera. That pervert took a picture of my. <coughs> oh, no. My... Which way did he go? Wait, in the 40s? <laughs> Creepy yeah. bastards like that's this. Right what are they doing that shit in the 40s? What is he doing? <laughs> mate, what are you doing? Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> what? How would you ever expect to get away with something like that, man? Running about with a goddamn fucking camera rig? That's like running about with a fucking one of those like stabilizer jumpings trying to do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like just as subtle. Oh, don't I need to get you in a dolly shot head? Oh wait, I put the side on that. Ah, uh, mate, you ain't got the traction there. Uh, I don't know what this car is. Hit him! Clear this asshole off the road. Fraudmobile. What the fuck? Mate, you are not adhering to the laws of physics, him, man. Cole. Spin him out. Spin, you mean spin him out? You guys spin and sell it, man. It's hard to hit something you can just move around like a fucking UFO. Getting close. Steer him off the tar. Don't worry, I got this. I got it. Oh, no, mate. <laughs> ah shit. Okay, again, this car just did something really weird. Mate, don't run in front of him. Can you not shoot at this guy? I know he only he's only running about he's only armed with a camera, but he is dangerous to society. We should do something about him. Shoot his wheels, man! Gonna get somebody else killed, man. What the fuck was with that giant crowd there? He's pulling away, he's gonna get ran over by something. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! I was about to say! I was about to say! He's gonna get hit by a trolley thing. Uh, by a tram. 
Right, bitch. Put your hands in the air. Hand over those photos. You're under arrest for public indecency. Ah, oh, Christ. You're going on a register, wee man. Don't forget, if you're enjoying this episode of L.A. Noir, to hit that like button down below and subscribe. Full playlist is in the description. Sponsored by Slippery Boils, that's a petroleum. Get some lead in ya. We duplicated this motor. Is that not your motor? It's saying that this one's his motor. I never put this, the roof down. What the fuck? Yeah, man, we could just take a, a car each, right? Somehow we've duplicated yours. I don't know how we did that, but... See if we get the same Reggie plate and everything. Is, is, are we in a better place now than we were before we arrested that guy? Because, like, a man's dead, and that wouldn't have happened if we didn't chase him, so... I don't know. Are we improving the world, Roy? Are we doing it? I'm not sure. Then again, that man is off the streets and that is a... That is a plus, definitely. Got any fucking... What the fuck? Traffic, it makes me angry. It does. Sorry. Bookmakers are for spite for the PM. That's the cab waiting up ahead. She's not in the car. Don't get too close. She must be inside. That guy knows, doesn't he? We're on the move no. again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. But they notice if I did this. Not the siren, you <laughs> Oh, they did. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to... <laughs> I just wanted to see if it would do anything. And... Yeah, okay, they thought of that. <laughs> All right, yeah. No, don't worry. I won't do it again, again right? I won't, I won't do it again. Don't lose that cab. What if I honk the horn? Would that do it? I don't want to have to wait again for it to load. Ah, shit. Why are they stopping in the middle of the street? Honestly, man, the roads look like fucking chaos. Everyone's turning the same. They're all going against each other. What's going on? Surely that's not how your bloody junctions work in America. Everyone's just got free reign. That cop just ran a red light. He didn't give a shit. And so, another incredibly boring section lies forth for our detectives. So we're just going to skip it. Pull over. She's heading inside. How can she be getting that bus though? She left her ticket in the house. I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. The heck? That broad got socks in the brazier. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. What, did she get eaten by a fucking monster? What happened? That was quick. Call an ambulance. Hammond got away. <laughs> Try and sit still, Candy. Make Who shot you? Was it Albert? Carlo. <gasps> Carlo. She was going to say Carlo. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. And he had. She'd been stabbed. Money, right? That Looks knife. Like the guy, guy was carrying that knife. Me, friend. They even brought it up again when he was leaving. Woman and then getting greedy over the split. He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it. I told you that cocksucker was a crook. Nah. That was that cargo guy. Oh, she had a wee gun ready to defend herself and it did not make the difference. Aye. 32 caliber. One shot fired. I mean, when though? Like, that is... Surely the bullet at the top's the one that's in the chamber, so if she fired that shot, then it would not it wouldn't be two down like that. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't fucking know. <laughs> ah, the other side of this the ticket. Egyptian theater. Is that it? Is that all that was in there? So what now? Is there anybody in that one? I don't have much else to go on. 
I'm not gonna search her. I mean, she literally just died, like, in your arms. I just died in your arms tonight. Aye, definitely done a run out the windy. Did anyone out here see anybody running up the street? Mate, did you see a guy covered in blood? Because there was a lot of blood. Solved the case. Book some bar fly for the murder. Shut up. Poor girl. She didn't deserve that. Poor girl. Half the precinct aren't taking a vacation this year because of her. You need to leave town. He's so salty, man. He is so, so salty. Guy, a woman just fucking died, and you're just like, fucking lost my money, that bastard. I was gonna get myself a new motor. Oh, for fuck. What the hell was that? Did you see that guy floating in the mid there? What the hell is going on there? Egyptian theater. 9.05 p.m. This seems like a long shot. You're not even trying, Roy, are you? Car 11 King. Message from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. Casey Son of a bitch. Clear. He stabbed her. I thought you said real men use their no fists, shit. not guns. Because you don't see the blood spray, do you? You think he got the money too? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. Just died in your past and must have been something I see. Should I walk away? I should I walk away? Told you it was Mickey Carlo. Here. Mickey made it clear it was either me or you, and, and I intend to keep on living. They're, they're really shouting, man. We could hear that from two rooms, she are we? She stole those betting slips. She was running out on me. And you were going to let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a dime. Everyone wanted me to take a short money. It's for the best kid. You were washed up, kid. You couldn't climb and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere. Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying. And it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much, but I had that. I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself, so did little boy. You did it to make a quick buck, and Candy did it to make her dream come true. Blah, blah, blah! I've got the money, all I need to do is get rid of you. It's gonna be a shame, kid, but that's business. Uh, coming in with the lights on wasn't a bright idea, was it, lads? If you'll pardon the pun. Is he gonna shoot at the police? We've heard enough, Arcaro. Put down your weapon. Now, well, he Making knows he's going to the gas chamber if he's bugging it. Mate, seriously? Ah! <laughs> Is he dead? Did I get him? <laughs> I should have a shot in the fucking head. Go. Oh, shit. Moving again. Where are you? You limey cocksucker. Mate, you see that one more time? I'm gonna actually slap him in the back of the head with a stun. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Is he dead? Oh, he's not dead! Oh, fuck, no, he's dead. Alright, cool. Alright. <laughs> That's such an awkward ending to that, man. What the fuck? <laughs> Put the gun down, Roy. That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Hey, mate, seriously, calm out with that shit. Catch. Right, Bob Ike. Scania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. That's not gonna sit well with the boys back in the- Fuck you! Precinct. That English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps. Ah, see, you finally made the distinction. That's fine. You can call him out all you want, mate. Right. I'm hearing rumors of a fight that was fixed, of gangsters looking to get square, that LAPD cops might be involved. Either of you two sons of bitches know anything about that? No, sir. So, the dead wop who turned up in this theater 
who used to be a boxing manager, who murdered Candy Edwards, has nothing to do with the fix? Absolutely not. Earl, you're doing venereal disease citations until you can learn to stop <laughs> lying to me. Phelps, got anything to add? Uh, no, sir. Get your uniform from your locker. You're what? back on the street. Right, what the fuck, me? Well, at least, you know, for once, Cole resisted the urge to rat out others. <laughs> you know? With Candy headed for the morgue, you won't have a second chance to get her full story. Oh. Oh, she didn't have to die? Oh, right. Yeah, I didn't do so well on that one, did I? I ran over that guy in the street. She got stabbed. Ah. Uh. Come on! 